Dexter is heading into its sixth season with no signs of slowing down. The fifth season is now available on DVD and Blu-ray, and I'm here at the infamous Tropicana Bar in Hollywood, California, to chat with the stars and celebrate the show's epic success. Rita's one of ours. She's family. We should be working on this for Dexter. Damn it, Angel, it's done. Just do what I say. Dexter's been around for five seasons. You're heading into your six. What do you think it is about it that keeps audiences coming back? We have amazing writers that keep reinventing the show year after year. They keep writing interesting concepts for each character. And as long as they keep writing those things, I think the show will be interesting. What is this? The 911 call Dexter made. Dexter's about a serial killer that's sort of human, which is a very unconventional concept. Why do you think it works? All serial killers are human. We don't know what's in their minds. What makes this series interesting is that the audience are listening to what's going through his mind. And so it makes him human and it makes him interesting. They don't condone what he's doing, but they're trying to understand what the effect in his mind is going on. And I think that that's what makes this show stand out. My father, Harry, taught me a few simple rules. Never hurt an innocent never make a scene. Dexter's pretty much one of the most iconic shows on television. Aside from the killing, why do you think that is? Uh, Michael C. Hall is uh, such an appealing actor and uh, such a decent guy. He truly represents the guy that lives next door that wouldn't harm a fly. And it's very compelling that way because it's got a psychology that people are finding accessible. And I think that's primarily because of Michael's performance. Obviously, the writing is fantastic, and he just slips right into it in such a way that it's hard not to watch. That's the first human thing I've seen you do since she died, Dexter. When you put it on paper, the whole concept behind Dexter sounds so outlandish, and yet it works. Why do you think it works? Hey, you know, simply it's the the Dexter equation. It's Michael C. Hall. He's got the charisma to be able to play a serial killer and to woo the audience into championing his character. This is Dexter's job. Blood. It's gross. For people that, you know, anticipate the Blu-ray coming out before they watch the whole season, what are some things they should look out for in season five, in your opinion, that are real, like, standout moments? The dynamic between Michael C. Hall and Julia Stiles, I think, was the overall attraction of season five. It's a great watch. What kind of shopping? Supplies. We have to make a room where Cole will be dispatched. You've been involved in so many incredible projects over the year, Stand and Deliver, The West Wing, Battlestar Galactica. What made you decide to come on board Dexter? The writing. Yeah, I think the writing is uh, really advanced and very, very strong. And the artistic endeavor of everybody, really, because the post-production is superb. Everything is really, really top-notch. It's a very dark story. It's probably the darkest story I've ever been involved with. I think it's the darkest story that's ever been placed on television. But people want to take that journey. Dexter is the way to go.